renowned Nigerian actress Kate Enshaw has expressed her disbelief and frustration after receiving a bold request from a fan asking for 35 million naira. <laughs> Mr. Baron. Uh, I honestly don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, there is this idea people have when they meet our stars. And as much as the stars are trying to live their own way, mm -hmm. some people have a fake idea of what they have in their bank account. Yeah. Yes, they are living very well. Yes, Nollywood is paying bills, you know, but it's not as much as some of these the fans think yeah. these people. And even if she has that amount, why would she give it I out? Mean. <laughs> She's not a billionaire. Even a billionaire would not give such amount of money. Maybe you know, the person thought the of it. Maybe I the mean, person thought it's going to be like Chike that gave a fan one million naira after insulting him. The, the, exactly. The, the, yeah. the, 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 the Twitter troll was trolling him at first, mm -hmm. then turned it into begging, like, okay, show me that you can. After all, exactly. you have much money than me. You know? <laughs> but even at that, it can't come off from, it can't be every time. Mm -hmm. um, Nollywood filmmaker Omoni Oboli has revealed that she traded her scripts for roles in films at the beginning of her career, hence at decision to become a director mr bond well um if you've known omoni and what she has done for years um she's one of the focused new generation actress who knew what she wanted for herself mm -hmm. um and today last week i was just i didn't even know that um, this news item was going to come up i was just looking at uh what she was doing because our series is on uh, Netflix, Netflix at the moment. Yeah. Uh, um, a YouTube channel weekly drops uh, movies that um, within the for between the week she drops it and the following week yeah. she always have over a million mm -hmm. views. Mm -hmm. And then she's coming out with a movie in the cinema in October. Yeah. Um, Wives on, Wife Strike, on Strike Part Three. So she's doing so extremely well. She's doing well. So extremely so well. So if she's telling a story of how the sacrifices she, sacrifices she had made, made, made and, the way she and the way she went about it, went about good it. it's good and refreshing to hear for a lot of young Nollywood yeah. people. Yeah. people. At least the young ones know exactly that you don't necessarily need to be in front of the cameras. You can actually develop yourself to write scripts. You can actually develop yourself to be behind the cameras, you know, direct. You know, just get a hang of it. It should, it should not always be. We have one of our we guests in the house is somebody who has been behind the camera. Does not necessarily need to be the camera yet. He has gotten his flowers over and over again. Over and over again. So, as much as everybody wants, you know, to be in front of the camera, there are individuals that you can actually make a name for yourself. You know, without necessarily being in front of the camera. And if you're lucky enough to have both um, talent, then. You can always mix match it. Your money, your body won't be the first. We have Beardo Stevens. Also, Beardo yeah. has not done a big role, you know, but she goes back and forth. Yeah. Even um, one of our guests uh, about three weeks ago, uh, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Kalu, you know, also in front yeah. of the camera. Yeah. And, and yeah. And so, yeah. so yeah. I, I, I'm I'm really happy that she's telling that story. And like Mr. Bond rightly said, mm -hmm. it's it would give hope and it would help the younger. Yeah, um, actresses, females, yeah. and even males to understand that you can also do both. Yeah. yeah, it's all about sacrifices and consistency. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, actress Ekene Umewa shares heartwarming photos for her newborn baby, expresses gratitude to Jesus and Mother Mary. Congratulations to Ekene. Congratulations to her. Yeah. Nollywood actress Enela Badmos commends President Tinubu for Nigerians' economy progress, citing a significant reduction in imports and an increase in exports. She highlights this shift as a major move from consumption to production, signaling a growing economy under Tinubu's leadership. Well, uh, when I saw that post, I knew that I was going to be trouble. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> trouble there was. But uh, what I like about any other, like most other Nollywood uh, celebrity, is that you cannot bully her. She will say what she wants to say, and she will not respond to anything that you say, or, unless you go out of hand. And when you go out of hand, she has shown it twice. She takes it up, yeah. involves the authority, oh. and she sent somebody to jail yeah. the yeah. other time. Another person. 
had to apologize and mm -hmm. you understand. Yeah. So she has shown that I am what I want to be, mm -hmm. no matter what you say. And by the time I went to read back the comment, oh my God, I think that uh, a lot of people need to take it easy on social media. They should understand that everybody has their own views. The, if something looks like this to you, it might look the other side, to the to other, the other person. person. It doesn't mean that you are right or you are wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people are going through a lot of hardship. Yeah. I also woke up two days ago, Nigeria Bureau of Statistics says that uh, inflation has gone down by 2%. You understand? Why I will not uh, fault it is that Nigeria Bureau of uh, Statistics, despite the fact that it's a federal government parastator, has all along been saying that inflation is going up. Inflation is going up. So if it is federal government that wants to manipulate it. Mm. They would have stopped them from manipulating it. And if they are saying just 2%, they know... And what they... I When I saw it, I was like, how can they say inflation is going down? I went to read it. So when I read it, what they are saying is that food inflation is going down in certain areas, which used to be very huge. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you cannot know and have the kind of information she has. Yeah. You understand? She works with the government. Exactly. You understand? So she might be throwing out information that we don't that have. We don't yeah. That's just my own view no, again, about me, it. I've always said this over and over again. People have different opinions. Their opinions are to them. Um, the social media gives everybody the opportunity you know, to hear their views and their op opinion. As long as it is not insulting mm -hmm. or bringing anybody down. I think yeah. everybody has their opinion. I, I once um, wrote about a film I watched and a filmmaker took me up on it and said, is this the same film I watch? And I'm like, you watch the film from your own perspective. Yeah. I watch the film from my... So I can speak about the film the way I have seen it. Mm -hmm. I don't need to see it from your own perspective. Mm -hmm. The filmmaker has another perspective for making the film. The yeah. point is that a film has spoken to us in two different ways. Yeah. It's a film. Mm -hmm. So when people have opinions, let them add their opinions. I you can't them. stop people. Yeah. If she say, like Mr. Bond rightly said, what she she said, said it means she's seen something. She works with the government. Yeah. Yeah. And it means she's seen something. It's not something. left for you it's to not left for you to either agree with her. Agree with you know or not. Again, the Yoruba has something which says something that looks like six to you might look like nine to another person. Something that looks like you to you might look like small n to another person. So you don't need to force your opinion on people. She didn't force her opinion. She didn't force her opinion. She only had her view. Which is her opinion? It's her view. If she says the Nigerian, the government, the Nigerian government under President Tinubu's um, rain is, is, is doing well gradually, yeah. then it's a view. Exactly. If other people don't feel it that way, then just mm -hmm. let her be. You can also go to your own platform and say, I do not believe exactly. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Tinobu is not doing anything. There's mm -hmm. hardship. Well, and you move on. Yeah. You know? Not outrightly cause her. Not causing her. Mm -hmm. The backlash is um, always too it is much. Page. Describing her. It, it is our page. Mm -hmm. It is not yours. She didn't come to your page to say that. It is on our own page. Yeah. Name, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't go there and cross her over that. And if you're not happy about it, unfollow her. Of, it's simple. Right. If you don't want to see it. Block her energy out of you. It's simple. It's yeah. very simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Actress Kate Enchant took to Instagram to share an encounter with police officers who threatened to arrest her over an allegation of passing one way on a road with no sign. Honestly, I, I know Mr. Bond is close to some of the top heads in the Nigerian police force yeah. and it would probably, I'm, I'm, I'm certain um, um, Officer Olumuiwa, right, would have um, seen this and I'm sure he would, he would work on it, issue. but I, I also have fallen into that trap oh. and she shared two other videos, you know, of people yeah. falling into that same trap. Yeah. I, I think some officers are just unscrupulous and would just want to do things just to make get money off Nigerians. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying all officers. There are some good officers who will stop you and say, no, and this is you. one way. Yeah. Please turn back or something. Mm -hmm. You know, it is not left for the citizen. If the citizen says, no, it is not the one way. I'm still going to pass through it. Then that person can. But if you've been told before you enter that it's a one way you can't you enter can't. again. Mm -hmm. you, you might not see the sign. Mm. It might not be like that yesterday or two days ago. Yeah. But now I am telling you because that road has turned into one way. You know, you turn the person back. Yeah. You know, that will be fine. But you know, when you have officers who just feel 
that's an opportunity to fleece people off their hard-earned money. And in this like, current Nigeria, where everything is the way it is, mm. nobody wants to drop anything. Yeah, I mean. Well, um, my view about this thing is very. Today, I'll also be a victim. victim. Today, twice between the airport and Adeni Jones, twice two police <laughs> people <laughs> stopped us. The first one, I. I just I was so upset and angry that I decided not to talk. I was just allowing my driver to talk. When they decided, when they were trying to talk to me, I told him, "Was I the one driving?" <laughs> because what he was stopping us for was nothing. And I said, when he kept dragging and dragging, I said, "Okay, what is the fine for this? What is the punishment? Can we go to your station?" station. They changed tune. But they were waste, They are already Wasted wasting time. my uh, our time. Immediately we entered Adeni Jones again. You know those ones that has motorcycle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They just came and came in front of us. Wow. And I, I, my mind was wondering, what's going on today? <laughs> this is in a space of like five, seven <laughs> minutes. You understand? I just told the officer. I said, "What is it?" He said, "I forgot." He said, "We went off the." Um, green light. Okay. You understand? In actual sense, I was pressing my phone. It was my driver that was there. So I won't say whether he actually did or oh, not. No, you understand? Did. That's the truth. Mm. You understand? So I asked, what is? what do we do? What is the next thing? He said, we'll go to Lagos State Traffic Management, mm -hmm. whatever, on our road. I said, okay, let's go. So when he said, well, I think maybe my confidence um, scared him yeah. to say, you understand? He you now said, um, I'm just warning you, next time, this, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> I said thank you, sir, and yeah. I left. So, and when I was coming this way, I saw that there are so many policemen on the road. On the road. So I'm wondering what. So my own candid advice is that people, people should just be more careful. 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 You understand? Because yeah. you cannot. It's always difficult to fight the police Actually. and win yeah. in such cases. So just be very careful. Be polite to them. You understand? And try to, because like they are saying on the street now, around Kogaza, <laughs> so everybody is, both the police and everybody try to find a way to solve the problem so that it doesn't escalate into more problems. I saw a video last week of a young guy who, in anger, now started fighting the police. The police yeah. I wonder where the guy will be now. Mm. Because the guy fought the police, the video went viral, viral. and police don't take it easy when anybody yeah. fights them. Yeah. You understand? So I'm I'm so sorry for so people should just try not to put all the angers of increase increase in petrol, <laughs> increase in school fees, increase in everything on uh, policemen so that they don't get into more trouble. Yeah. That's just my own advice. Yeah. Then finally I think the government or whoever um, is responsible for changing road signs and signs that um, roads that are now one way mm -hmm. and the ones that are not should also put in more effort yeah. in sensitizing people do at least a lot of radio jingles so that people would hear about it and know yeah. you know do social media stuff and just say list of roads that are now one road well, exactly. or one way blah 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 so it, it would be at least you would have done your part yeah you know we, people just just wake up one day and just say i agree totally one way. i think i, I, mean, I think the Lagos state traffic management uh and the Lagos state uh fortunately the Lagos state um Police uh, PPRO, mm -hmm. Benundeni is very active on social media. Social media. Yes, yes. So I think that if the Lagos, if they work together and put it on social media, put it everywhere, they exactly. can even put it on LTV8 and they other states. Oh, that you understand? Mm. So that people will hear and yeah. know and be careful. Yeah. Exactly. You understand? And the listeners will know that. So somebody will tell you, oh, that's one way. Don't try it. Or mm -hmm. Don't try it. Or even yeah. if you're not heard, you know. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Jaye Kutsi. Wale, Wale Ojo and Joker Silva feature on the cover of the latest Forbes Africa edition. As the producers and performers who turn the lens on the continent and contribute to its economy with over $5 billion to the GDP. Mm. Mm. It's, a, it's a good news. It's, it's a good news. And news like this for me at Women, it shows that some of us who dedicate um, our time, yeah. you know, to um, the development of Nollywood, because we all, I mean, from the content makers to the script writers to the directors to the producers mm. to the cinematographers to the light men, you know, to the actors and actresses themselves, yeah. to the reporters, mm -hmm. you know, who write about Nollywood, yeah. to 
the editors who edit those stories and to the newspaper houses, yeah. radio houses, TV houses, Everyone involved, you know, yeah. cinema houses, distribution company who make all these things go to the final position where people now get to see it. Yeah. Uh, all these are these are news, you know, that makes them happy because mm -hmm. it shows that the industry is not stopping in terms of growth. You know, yeah. the, the, the cost is still growing wide. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that I'm seeing this because now people would understand that Nollywood and its practitioners are not just here for fun. Yeah. It's real business. It might be fun because you watch it, you enjoy it, they entertain you, but it's real business. Mm -hmm. And this is just a testament to that. It, it, it's, it's a heartwarming story for me. All right. That will be all for the news in Nollywood.